Mr. Investor, welcome back to the channel, baby. And I've got some juicy news for you. Oh, yeah, cowboys. We're going worldwide, baby. As we know, haters are going to hate, but the Sapphire is here to stay. So we're going to be talking about global expansion and the adoption of Sapphire in Africa. Absolute magic. We will also talk about government funded research and some other studies some of us may have missed. Remember, bingo is a long game. That's why I'm long and strong. If you're new around here, my name is Miguel. We look for the biggest, juiciest growth stocks. And I think we found one in bio nano genomics. Remember, this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment only. If you want two free stocks, make sure you check out the Weeble link in my description below. You get two free stocks up to the value of $1,850. So make sure you deposit that first initial $100 to get access to the higher stocks. And if you're able to support my channel, please click the join button. It's only 99 cents a month and you really help me create great content. Thank you so much for your support. But if you're unable to join channel memberships, just you hit the like button and clicking subscribe is enough for me thank you so much let's get into the video mm -hmm. so mr g goodman 28 minutes ago he said bingo is in south africa now dollar dollar dear old g goodman my g sent me this wonderful news i jumped out the shower i ran down the stairs on horseback and i saw that bio nano genomics was announcing its continued global expansion in adoption of its sapphire system and it's going to be here in south africa baby so the customer is indelo bio limited these guys are an advanced molecular genetic laboratory based in Cape Town, South Africa. And this is the very first adoption of Sapphire in Africa. Congratulations, baby. Welcome to the Sapphire team. As we can see here, they say they've got superior DNA analysis, fast turnaround time. We definitely get you there, baby. And customized solutions at competitive prices. Oh yeah. So this Indelo Bio is going to develop assays, which are tests. An assay is an investigative procedure in laboratory medicine. They're going to be developing these assays on the Sapphire system to analyze the cancer genomes of patients with blood cancers and solid tumors. Now these guys are well connected, baby. Take a look at the terminology. Through its network of contacts and collaborations with pathology groups and hospitals across Africa, Indelo Bio aims to make modern genetic technology available to everyone on the African continent. So this wonderful person, Joe Ann Kotze, is the head of genetics at Indelo Bio. And when people are saying, oh, another study, another study, it doesn't make a difference to the stock price. Listen, it's the long game. And this is what difference it makes. This lady was sure convinced. I have been following BioNano's progress for years and I have been impressed by the correlations of OGM with standard cytogenetics reported in the validation studies that have been published and presented so far. Now this is where it gets interesting. Joanne said, as I am the national board examiner for the specialized field of cytogenomics of the Society of Medical Laboratory Technologists of South Africa, my goal is to formally register our Sapphire based laboratory as a training laboratory for the field of cytogenomics and write optical gene mapping into the South African cytogenetic guidelines. You're going to write it into the guidelines. Absolutely huge. As you guys have seen in my previous videos, when I was talking about guidelines, when a country makes guidelines nationally, they're trying to implement the top standard of care. So they're choosing which technologies to use at what price and how it's going to benefit the patient. They're looking at making sure the patient has improved patient outcomes. They want people to survive. They want you to live the best life possible. Where chromosomal microarray CMA has failed to replace standard cytogenetic testing of cancer samples, I believe optical genome mapping has the potential to revolutionize cytogenetic analysis in Africa and the rest of the world. That is a huge statement. Maji said, wow, with ass. This is the exact quote and it is huge. This is massive. So Joanne Kotze has been looking at the studies that have been coming out, everything that's been published and presented so far. She's been tracking bio nanogenomics progress for years and she's finally taken the bullet and she's like, you know what? I am the national board examiner. I am going to build OGM into South Africa. African cytogenetic guidelines and OGM has the potential to revolutionize cytogenetic analysis in Africa and the rest of the world. And we know the man of the hour, Eric Homeland, CEO of BioNanogenomics, has something nice to say. We believe the ability of Sapphire to perform a comprehensive and automated analysis of all structural variant types makes access to advanced analysis of structural variation for genetic diseases and cancer more straightforward than ever before. See, the thing is, when will people pay attention? Will they wait until 10,000 sapphires are all over the world? Are they waiting for that confirmation of worldwide adoption?
adoption because here you're starting to see it brewing it's starting to happen getting built into guidelines not only in the nhs will it be built into over in america now in africa today is world health day 2021 focused on eliminating health inequalities and building a fairer healthier world as sapphire adoption expands around the world we are proud to be seeing areas like africa embrace ogm we believe that the assays indelo bio will develop on sapphire can help democratize access to technology and ultimately help to improve lives of patients all over the world improve patient outcomes where have we seen this before genome uk the future of healthcare over here this is why countries are putting billions and billions into genomics they're looking for improved patient outcomes diagnosis and personalized medicine and as you know these guys are looking at rare diseases and cancer so this is really nice to see adoption it's really nice to see that um yahoo finance is actually covering it as well the other day we saw that bio nanogenomics said that two of the nine rare disease research programs were funded by the french government this year will feature ogm data optical genome mapping is so key and essential if you want to ensure that your patient has improved outcomes and you map out the whole genome and when you click into the document that they provided you can see here chromaps prospective study to access medical performance of optical mapping and long read sequencing together in detecting numerical and structural chromosome abnormalities so before we go ahead and we starting to see it getting adopted around the world this is the first lab in africa that is well connected drop me some comments below cowboys i want to know how you're feeling about this i want to know what you see in the future for the sapphire system will you see us expanding globally what do you think of the sales coming up what do you think of the next quarters are we going to be expanding making the sales and how much sapphire are you holding and what is your average right now for me i don't care about any of these short-term fluctuations i don't have any calls in there i don't have any puts in there i don't even do that baby i just buy and hold and any short-term fluctuations if this manages to get into the six dollar range again i'm going to be buying and averaging down next you guys may have seen this in one of my other videos it's about usda the agricultural research service department of agriculture and bio nanogenomics was used in this research project this was from april 1st 2020 to march 31st 2021 it was a reimbursable cooperative agreement they used together long reads pack biosequencing and bio nano optical genome mapping alongside high fidelity illumina short reads so there's actually a massive growing demand for fish and like aquaculture aquaculture is actually the world's fastest growing agri food business and within the u.s rainbow trout is the most cultivated cold water fish it's part of the family of salmonoids and they're looking at complex traits such as disease resistance and feed efficiency the salmonoids are not a group of robots they're actually the salmonids pronunciation so this includes salmon trout chars freshwater white fishes graylings collectively known as salmonids i found this particularly interesting because i was watching a sea spiracy recently on netflix there's an absolutely huge demand and growing demand for us to eat a whole load of fish everybody wants to have some of that fish and they're estimating some crazy figures on the side of all these research projects of the usda you can see the project team members here and you can also see the types of programs they're running some of the team members like guang tang gao he's published so many different publications and if we want to understand the reason why they're doing this research they're saying here the vision statement for the aquaculture research is that the science-based use of our natural resources to meet the seafood demands of a growing global population now there's a company that you guys might know as well this company is actually trying to raise genetic engineered fish in particular atlantic salmon this is a company called aqua bounty and they've blocked my face but as you can see here these are the reasons why they're doing it so on the left you can see massive global population on the right you'll see global population is projected at 9 billion people by 2050 that's 26 percent growth in 30 years with a growing middle class driving increased protein demands and boy is this protein demand growing you can see below me you can see chicken fish you can see pork you can see beef the overall protein demand and consumption is to double by 2050 so they're predicting this and they're projecting that aquaculture must produce nearly 60 million additional tons of fish by 2050 that's more than double in 2010 and this is to fulfill the seafood gap and meet consumer demand for consistent affordable and nutritious protein solutions also if we go back into usda you can see they're actually working on mapping out genomes of fruit flies as well because they want to control the pests pests can constantly destroy farmers yields and they also want to work on fishes disease resistance so we can see lots of parasites can also attack fish and these guys at aqua bounty believe that the only way to do it is to have genetically engineered fish that are better at resisting disease so they don't have to give them chemicals and antibiotics all the time they want to grow the fish bigger faster and juicier than ever whilst also lowering their carbon footprint and using less food to feed the fish we are constantly being used to map out animal genomes mr g goodman is also calling that we could be used also in medical marijuana to find the best strains i said i agree brother when you need the finest strains specifically for consumer demand or medical conditions you'll need to both sequence and optical map out the genome for each plant then find desirable genes and either breeds or genetically edit if 
if we go back over to Joe Butler, a bio-nanogenomics employee, he was saying more national healthcare providers are incorporating optical genome mapping into their testing directories. Exciting times. Lastly, I just want to say thank you to all the cowboys that have sent me money for these events. Thank you so much for donating. If you'd like to donate as well and you haven't already, um, just check the PayPal link below in my description box. And yeah, I'd just like to say that we've already got our ticket for this one. Shh, baby. And this one, we're just trying to get in at the moment as well. We just need to verify some details and just raise a little bit more cash. Also, I think one of my guys, he was asking me, um, Mexico adopted the Sapphire system. I tried to look, I couldn't find anything so far. But I'll try and dig deeper and see if I can find something. I'd just like to say thank you so much for always supporting our videos. If you'd like to join up here, it's only 99 cents a month. Or you guys could join the Patreon link in my description box below. But thank you so much for your love and support. And I'll see you in the next video, baby. Also, make sure you drop me some juicy comments. I want to see all those juicy comments, baby. Tell me about how you're feeling mr over and out baby